Hello, Thursday morning, another car boat, but it's it's not very big for some reason and the weather's a bit windy and there was a bit of rain in the air, so maybe that's why. Uh, I think we'll get some in anyway, maybe do some charity shops afterwards and see what goes, so cheers. Okay, so the car boot was a bit um, not as good as it normally is, I should say. Um, did get up some stuff, so I can't complain. Um, I think the problem was the wind. It's so windy today, it's mental. So I uh, just stopped off in the local town. I haven't come here for ages, to be fair, but I'm going to do some charity shopping and see what we can get. Okay, so not a great day, but I did manage to get some pickups at the uh, car boot and the charity shops. The charity shops weren't very good, they were very overpriced. Um, spotted a hotel board game, which really is something to look out for. They're worth a lot of money, but they wanted £20 for it. Sell them on eBay for 30 35 so not really enough in it for me to pick up. But I did get a couple of bits, and it, it's a very re varied stuff. I mean, you normally see me with golf clubs, board games, electronics, well... Didn't really get much of that today. I got a, a variety, which just goes to show you can make money in pretty much anything, really, as long as you have an idea of what sort of stuff sells. And fingers crossed, all of this stuff that I've bought will sell and I will make some money. So I'll start off with the stuff I picked up at the car boot this morning. So it was a bit disappointing because of the weather, um, but I managed to get some stuff, so it was um, it was worth going. First pickup of the day was has just fallen all over was a buggy board I've picked these up I've picked plenty of these and any time I see one I get one but especially because this one has got the connectors and they are uncut a lot of people tend to cut them when they fit them but these are uncut which does add money to them this was a good buy two pounds um, with the uncut connectors I'll sell that for 40 and that will sell really quick. They fly out the um, the buggy boards. So that was I was pleased with that. I then spotted a guy with a Land Rover t-shirt on. I thought, oh, well, I wonder if he's got any Land Rover stuff. And he did. He had some Land Rover Defender rear light guards. There's the one side. 
and there is the other. So these are Land Rover Defender, you all know what a Defender is obviously, it's one of the best vehicles ever made in my opinion. Um, these are genuine Land Rover and he sold them me for a pound. So nice guy obviously. Um, used 30, 35 quid for the two. Uh, I also got a creeper board from him, um, one of them ones you lie on and go underneath the car. Um, I paid a fiver for the creeper board, it's Halfords one, it's nearly new, so I'm going to keep that for welding on my uh, Vida Camper um, and when I get underneath that to do work on that, so that's that was a good price for that, and they're normally about 30 quid, so even when I've used it I may well sell it on, um, but yeah, that was personal. Then I got some personal purchase studies, um, then I got some tools, um, Stanley Yankee um, screwdriver, as you can see they're the extendable ratchet screwdrivers. I do tend to pick up Stanley ones. You can get various other ones, um, but the Stanley ones are by far the best. Um, that was a pound. Um, I'll sell that for probably $12.95. I got a ball joint splitter for a Mini. That was bundled in with this very old torque master torque wrench um i haven't tested it yet i hope it works so yeah that it works it's turning by hand oh that's brilliant um but you can it's a nice old one but they're still desirable they're still usable as well um but yeah quite a collectible that a bundle, as well as that i've got this um that's a speed bar but this one is snap on America vintage snap-on um, I paid six pounds for all of it the ball joint splitter there's not a lot of value in it but I need one anyway to do a ball joint on one of my dad's minis and I can't find the one I've got the torque wrench um, you're looking around 20 to 25 on that and the breaker bar the speed bar the snap-on one that's 25 to 30 so for six pounds they were some good pickups I was pleased with them that's all I managed to get at the car boot, so I didn't get a great deal. And then popped to the little village nearby to go to the charity shops, but as I said, they were very pricey. There was some good stuff in some of them, but I'm not paying that sort of money for stuff. Not when I'm only going to make a pound to spend a tenner to make a pound. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I did get some stuff. Bit random. A signed Linford Christie postcard. <laughs> I uh, paid £2 for that. Don't really know why I bought that. I just thought, wow, that's signed. That's got to be worth money. I'll get my money back. Maybe make a pound. Sorry, Limford. Maybe when he was uh, in his A, you know, that would have been worth more. But come on. I also got a board game, Hobbit. This was £1.50. Um, it's all there except one of the pens, I think. But it pens a pen, so that's not a problem. Um, on eBay they go for about £12.95 and I also picked up a hat Quicksilver straw hat but that is going nowhere the only place this is going is on my head when I'm walking around car boots so I'm well happy with that I've wanted a car boot hat for ages to keep the sun off my ears because I spend a lot of time walking around in the sun and that is awesome pleased with that so, out of all the stuff I bought, most of it was for me. <laughs> but no, as I say, it's worth going. What did I spend? Six, uh, seven, eight, nine, about 20 quid, and I've got 100, 100 and a bit. So I'm all right with that. More than that, actually. Near enough 140, probably, all in. Um, I got them golf clubs that I mentioned on yesterday's video, Facebook pickup. Um, really pleased with them, paid 80 and I say there's about 200 in there, so that was a good pickup. Sales are going really, really well, um, easily meeting our target. As I said in my first video, I don't know if I've said it before, my target is a £100 turnover a day in sales. We're exceeding that by a long way, um, a long way. In fact, last month we only didn't make that on two days, 
and two of them days we got 97 pounds and the other day we got 20 i don't know what's wrong with that day obviously it must have been sunny everyone must have been out enjoying themselves but anyway we're doing really well really happy the car boots are going at the moment the weather's apparently all of july and august is supposed to be boiling hot which is just what I want because that means car boots are on every weekend. But we'll see how that goes. So that's Thursday's um, pickups for, for from me. I've got sat boots coming up on Saturday and obviously Sunday. So hopefully there'll be some mega hauls again for them from them. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you all soon. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.